Hi there, I'm Luigi Domenico from UFMG. In the previous video, we discussed the project structure of our, of our analysis and we saw how to implement the entry point for a LLVM OPT plugin. In this video, we will finish the implementation of the analysis and run it on an example to check the result we got. First, a brief recap. Our analysis will traverse a function collecting additions that only use constant integers. This will be used later on the course to evaluate these instructions at compile time. This is the structure of our project right now. We have already seen the header file. The add const plugin file, which contains the entry point for our plugin, as well as the configuration files that we need to compile the project. Now, we'll dive into the implementation of our analysis. First, include our header and wrap the code inside our previously defined namespace. Let's also use the LLVM namespace implicitly just for simplicity. The first thing to do is to, is to initialize the analysis key. Note that the value, the value here actually doesn't matter, since what is used by LLVM is the address of the key. Then, we need to implement our run method. I omit, omitted the types just to save some space here. We begin by declaring the vector that shall be filled with the collected instructions and returned as a result of our analysis. Then we loop through the basic blocks of f. Each basic block is composed by instructions, which is what we need to expect. First, let's check if the instruction i is a binary operator. If it isn't, we move to the next instruction. Then, we need to verify if it's an addition. We do that by inspecting its OP code. Third, we need to check if the operands of i are all constant integers. For that, we'll use uh, a function called isConstantInchOnly that we shall define in a minute. Finally, now we know that i is an, an addition with constant operands, so just add it to the list of collected instructions, casting it to a binary operator. And that's it. Now we just return the collect instructions and we are done. Okay, now we need to implement that is constant only function. It's quite simple. It takes an instruction i, then loop to the operands of i and check if they are of the type constant int. If all of them are constants, we return true, else we return false. The only thing left is to implement our printer, so we can check the result of our analysis on some example. First, we request the result of our analysis, and for that we use the function analysis manager. Now, let's print the name of our function before printing the analysis result. Here, OS is the output stream that we pass to the pass constructor. Then, we traverse the list of instructions returned by our analysis and print them. And finally, we return a set of analysis preserved, which in our case are all of them. We are done with the, with the implementation. Now, let's see how to compile our project. First things first, make sure you are at the root of the project. In my case, this is the path to, to, to the project. Now, if you recall the last video, we have defined in this make file a variable to hold the location where LLVM is installed. So let's get it. Using CMake, we compile the project passing the path to LLVM by command line. The build files will be stored at, at the folder named build. You can use any build system you want. In my case, I'm using Ninja, but you can use, can use Unix make files, for instance. Finally, what's left is to run your build tool and compile the project. First, move to the build folder. Then use the make with the build flag to compile the project. Before running our pass, let's take a look into the example file that we are going to use. So move back, move back to the product root, create a folder called examples and create a new file full.ll inside it. First, 
let us define a function called foo that will take two integers and also return an integer. Then, let's create two additions that are constant only. Next, let's add a couple of other additions just to ensure that our analysis will correctly select only the first two. And lastly, just return the final result. Now let's test it. First, let's get the L of M OPT2. Then we need to load the lib file that we have generated into OPT. We say to OPT that we want to run the pass called print angle bracket add const, which is our printer as we defined it before. Let's disable OPT output just to suppress a few warnings. And finally, we are going to run our pass onto the example file file we just created. And there it is. We successfully collected the add instructions that only operate on constant integers. So that's it for now. In these two videos, we saw how to implement an analysis on top of LLVM using the new pass manager. In the next video, we'll see how to implement a transformation pass that will make use of the analysis we have just created. Till there, feel free to send any comments or questions. Thank you.